friends let's take a variable and i'll write variable as my name and that will be equal to srikan i'll give it my name only and after that let's take a function and function greet inside that let's write console dot log hello friends okay and let's come out of that function and let's write here console dot log my name okay and after that let's call the function greet open the parenthesis okay now let's go to google so you can see guys we got srikan and hello friends as the output now let's do something interesting let's cut these values and let's paste them above the code okay now what do you think the output is going to come what do you expect the output now here we are printing the values before initializing them right and we are calling the function even before defining or writing the function body right you will definitely think that it is going to throw an error because we cannot access things before initialization right because in most of the programming languages the same thing happens but actually it is not in case of javascript javascript is completely different javascript is top so let's see what we'll get you can see guys we got undefined and hello friends okay that means function is executed and we got the output but instead of getting srikan we got something or a special value called undefined now what is mean by that why did we get this undefined so let's do one more thing i'll go to vs code let's delete this once now let's go to browser so now we got something called my name is not defined now what is this not defined what is this not defined and undefined what is the difference between them you will get that answer by the end of this video okay now let's do one more thing let's go to vs code and here let's let's write console dot log i'll write greet that means i'm printing entire function okay so let me get this back and now let's go to browser so you can see guys i got entire function okay this is not actually i want let's do one more thing just copy this line and paste it above the function okay so let's take some space here now let's see what we'll get so you can see guys that greet function is printed for two times that means we can able to get entire function body even before writing that and we are getting the function body even after writing that okay now what is this it is weird right because we are getting entire function even before writing that right so this weird phenomenon that you are seeing is something called hoisting in javascript but i know that is not convincing definition just wait i'll explain you about hoisting in two different ways okay friends if you have not seen the previous video please go and watch that okay friends when you run your javascript code a global execution context is created and that global execution context is created in two phases in that first phase is memory creation phase and second one is execution phase okay and in that memory creation phase javascript engine will allocate memory to all variables and functions and that variables and functions will go and sit in that memory and for the variables instead of match instead of giving the actual value javascript will put some special value or a placeholder that is called undefined okay you can see here for variable name equal to srikan in the memory creation phase name equal to it is given as undefined okay but in case of function you can see here function a that entire function is sitting inside the memory okay so all these things are happening even before the execution okay in the creation phase itself by the javascript engine and in case if you have not seen the previous video friends please go and watch that i have explained everything in depth you should not miss that okay now before execution phase itself in the memory creation phase it has stored variables and function in the memory and it has given variable undefined and in case of function it has stored the entire function so for that reason here if you print the value my name uh, before writing that before giving actual value it will definitely print undefined because at this point the code is not yet executed right it is still in the memory creation phase right so that's why we got undefined because still in memory still in memory memory okay but in case of function it doesn't matter where you call that function in the memory creation phase entire function is going to be stored right so for that reason even you call the function before writing it or even if you print the function before writing it you will definitely get the entire function and the fun function will be executed okay so this is the concept behind getting behind getting this undefined and hello friends as the output so this mechanism or this phenomenon of allocating memory to variables and function and giving variables a special value that is undefined is known as hoisting okay so this is one type of definition 
for hosting. And the second type is hosting is the phenomenon in which you can access variables or functions before initializing them. Okay, so here we are accessing my name variable before initializing that and we are calling greet function before initializing that. The concept here is we are not getting any errors, right? But in case of other programming languages, we might get errors, right? So here the concept is without getting errors, we can access things before initializing them. Now, I hope you understood the concept of hosting. Now, let's do something very interesting. We'll see if all these things are happening behind the scenes or not, like creating memory and giving a special value called undefined. So we'll see practically if all these things are happening or not behind the scenes. Okay. So let's refactor our code. Let's copy this first. And now and let's paste this after name. Okay, after initializing. And let's cut this from here. And let's copy this also. Let's cut that. And let's call that here. And we don't need this grid function here. Okay, let, let's keep that. And let's take some space here. Okay. And here also. Now let's go to browser. So you can see we got Srikan and function body and function executed. Okay, we got all the outputs. Now let's do something. Here I'll write window and press enter. In the previous videos, we have seen that all the variables and functions which are global, that is nothing but which are not inside any function will be attached to the window object, right? Okay, so let's see them. Let's open this window object. If you scroll down a bit, let's see. So here you can see guys, I have the value my name and Srikan. Okay, listen to this very carefully and look at this. My name is Srikan. Okay, now let's close this. Now let's do something. Let's go to sources and let's cl just click on that app.js. Here let's put a breakpoint on sixth line. Okay, on sixth line. That means code is not yet started executing. Okay, now the breakpoint is in sixth line. Let me refresh it. So you can see the execution is paused now. That means actually it is not yet started and we are in the sixth line. So let me go to console again. And here let's write, see now output is empty because code has code has not started executing. We have stopped that using debugger. So let's write here window and press enter. And let's open the window. And if you scroll down a bit now. So, so you can see guys here I have my name is undefined. Hence that means we understood that in the creation phase before the code is actually executed, values are actually stored in the memory and a special value is given to them that is called undefined. And that is the reason we got undefined here. Okay. Now let's do something. Let's go to sources again. Let's put the debugger here in the 10th line. Okay. So now let me remove that here. Let's write, let's click on the remove breakpoint. Okay. Let's go to console now. So you can see guys, we got already output as Srikan. That means in the sources now the code has executed 7th line, 8th line, 9th line and up to 10th line. So after the 10th line, it is not yet executed. That means we already got my name equal to Srikan initialization and my name is printed. So if you go to console and if you click on window and press enter and you can see now if you scroll down, now our value will be changed. My name equal to Srikan. Okay. That means execution phase is actually started and for that reason we got my name equal to Srikan. Hope you understood that. Now let's see the function. So where is the function? If you scroll above, so where is that? Where is that? You can see guys here we have greet equal to function. So no matter where you put the function or no matter if it is in execution phase or creation phase, we'll always get entire function. Okay. Because we have seen that function and its entirety is stored inside the memory creation phase inside the memory. Okay. That is about functions. Now let's do something. Let's go to VS code and here let's copy this thing again. Let's cut that and paste that above the my name variable. Okay. So let me take some space here. Now let's go back to console again. So here we are in the source sources again. Now put that breakpoint on the eighth line. Okay. Now let's add that breakpoint here. So that means sixth line and seventh line already executed. That means we should get my name equal to undefined in the console. Okay. Let me refresh it again. Let, let's go to console. So you can see guys, we got undefined. Okay. And in the sources, we have the breakpoint on variable my name equal to Srikan. Now let's go to console. Here let's write window and press enter. And again, search for my name variable. Where is that? my name my name so guys you can see here my name equal to undefined okay the reason i am showing it again is because now we'll get a complete clarity why we got my name equal to undefined okay for that reason because still we are in the memory creation phase and at that time itself we are accessing the value my name and that is why it is undefined when the javascript engine actually starts execution phase 
then it will assign or it will put that Srikan value by replacing the undefined okay because always remember that in the creation phase at the creation phase it will not know that what is the value of my name so that's why at first itself it will give a special value undefined and for that reason we got first undefined here where is that inside the console here we got undefined okay now i hope you understood the reason and purpose beyond getting the undefined now one more thing is left at first we got something called not defined right so let's do that let's go back to vs code and now let's actually delete this completely okay let's delete this and again let's go back to sources and now let's put that let me refresh it again okay uh, yeah where is that let's put that breakpoint here on the seventh line or eighth line something whatever on eighth line and let's remove this breakpoint okay so now the breakpoint is in eighth line let's go to console so you can see we'll get my name is not defined that means let's write window here let's press enter let's open this and if you scroll down you can see guys just now we have my name above this name right now we are not seeing that my name so not defined is nothing but that my name variable is not in the memory hence i cannot get that value my name from the memory so that is why it is not defined it is not defined you can see we, we have not created that uh, my name variable right anywhere in the code we have not initialized or we have not declared that variable right my name so that is why it is not in memory so for that reason engine is throwing an output saying that it is not defined okay so this is the difference between not defined and undefined okay now i hope you understood the concept between them now let's do one more thing just to get perfect clarity about functions also so here let's write that variable my name equal to so we can we'll write it we'll write it as usually my name equal to srikan okay so here let's take some space and here i'll write greet sorry greet and i'll call that again okay let's close this now let's go back to console here i am putting my debugger on the 14th line okay so let's add breakpoint here on 14th line that means already this 12th line is executed before the function body itself so let's go to console and let's refresh it once again so guys you can see we got the function body so let's type here window and press enter and let's open that so let me scroll down a bit where is that my name yeah my name and above that we'll have greet function so you can see guys we have greet so so that means i just wanted to show you that we'll have that greet function and its entirety in the memory in the memory creation phase and that's why we are able to get we are able to log that entire greet function using this one line that is console.log greet okay that is about functions and variables and we have one more thing trust me that is going to be very interesting so let's go to vs code and here let's write a new function that is equal to variable greet to equal to function and let's open the curly brackets and here let's write console dot log and here let's print hello world okay hello world that's it let's close that and here let's write console dot log greet to and just after that let's call that function okay here i'll call greet to and that's it and here let's write console dot log so just just some dashes okay for our understanding and let's take some space here also and here let's call that function again greet to that's it super cool let's go to browser so friends you can see here first we got undefined and after that we got greet to is not a function now what is this what's happening here so friends let's go back to vs code once so here at the 25th line we got output as undefined and after that at the 26th we got greet to is not a function but it is function right greet to is actually function and we should get that output right just like just like we got here when we call the greet function here also we should get that output right when we call greet to so what's happening here so friends let me tell you something here when you write variable greet to equal to function even though this is a function but it will be considered as a normal variable and this function will be considered as a normal value okay so i'll explain you that let's take a variable greet 3 and that will be equal to hello okay so just because you have created a function with a var keyword and a variable in the memory creation phase this variable will get a value called undefined okay because it is variable right and this grid is also variable so now this both are same so for both these things in the memory creation phase javascript engine will give a special value that is called undefined right for that reason 
here we got first first line as a undefined and second as greet is not a function because undefined is not function right yes or no undefined is just a special value or one of the data types that is given by the javascript engine right it is not a function so that is the meaning of this error greet is not a function means undefined is not a function so that means when you write function expression okay unlike function statement when you write function expression you cannot call or you cannot invoke that function expression before initialization or before writing that function okay so what happens behind the scenes is in the execution phase javascript engine will see that okay this is not a value this is a function and i should attach this function to the greet to variable okay hence it will become a function expression so that's why let me delete this and now we will see we will get output as hello wall okay so that's why we got output as hello wall because in the execution phase javascript replaced that undefined with this function okay that's why it is going to work when you invoke or call a function after initialization and when it is and remember it is only for function expression okay so always remember that function expression is nothing but it's just like a value okay it's just like a value to a variable this this entire thing is a value so that's why in the memory creation phase it will get undefined and that is the reason why we got undefined here okay <sighs> that is about hosting guys it looks weird but not for us we know why we got this undefined we know why we got, why we got this function body and we know why we got this hello friends as output and we also know why this is why we got this undefined and we also know why we got this dashes so we know everything right we know all the things that are happening behind the scenes now everything will make sense to you right let's go back to vs code again and here let me take some space so here also let's take some space again let's go back to google and let's go to sources and let's go to app.js okay inside this let's here let's put a breakpoint on this function okay add a breakpoint and now let's refresh this so we have breakpoint on 31 line that means already this already this line is executed uh, agreed to okay so let's go to console and so see you can see we got undefined that means this line is executed now greet to that's why we got output as undefined so let's go to google and let's write here window and press enter and let's open this now let's scroll down a bit you will see some magic here so you can see guys greet is a function entire function is storing here why because it is a function statement or function declaration and if you see the greet to here we got undefined just like a variable that gets undefined this is greet 3 is variable right that's why it got undefined so just like a normal variable that will get undefined greet to function also got undefined before execution phase is actually started okay so that's the reason we got output as greet to is not a function so this is the proof so this is how it works behind the scenes in the memory creation phase it's very interesting right so that's what happens behind the scenes so friends this is about hosting and variable hosting and function hosting always remember that in the memory creation phase variables and function declarations or statements will get undefined will get undefined value and in the execution phase they will get actual value so that's why we can able to get that values before initialization and next if you write function expression we cannot call or invoke that before initialization okay we can we can only invoke that after initialization or after execution phase okay so this is about hosting this is not the end guys what happens when we create variables and functions with let and const keywords remember in the es6 we have introduced with two keywords that is let and const right so do you know what happens when we create functions and variables with that keywords and what is mean by temporal dead zone so next video is gonna be very interesting guys just hit that subscribe button and follow along the series i'll see in the next video thank you